Hey guys, I'm Brittany Hughes, you're watching MRC TV, and this is your reality check. The topic of immigration has been thrown around a lot this election cycle, and to build a wall or not to build a wall, well, that seems to be the question before the court. But in the middle of all of the political rhetoric and finger pointing and name calling being tossed around on your television, here's what tends to get lost most often facts. So here's a few just from the last week alone. Fact, the Obama administration continues to say that our borders are not open to illegal immigration, but they've dumped 123,000 unaccompanied alien children into American communities in the past two years alone and deported less than 5%. Fact, border agents say they've caught more than 332,000 illegal aliens at the U.S. border since last October, including nearly 50,000 more unaccompanied kids. Fact, more than 420 border agents have been assaulted so far in fiscal year 2016. Fact, the Obama administration has gotten more than 9,500 applications for their Central American Minors program. You remember that one, right? It lets illegal alien parents in the United States petition their government to bring their kids from Central America into this country. And guess who's funding this program? You. Oh, but it gets better. Jay Johnson quietly announced this past week that he's expanding that program to include adults. So now the parents of all those illegal alien kids who have come to the United States can also apply to be brought here on the taxpayer dime, along with their adult children and related caregivers like aunts, uncles, cousins, whoever. Oh, and fact, we're spending nearly a billion dollars annually on our unaccompanied alien child program alone. We've also handed out three million in UN contributions for Central American refugees on top of sending 750 million in foreign aid to Central American countries, all courtesy of your wallet. John Adams once said that facts are stubborn things, and facts show that we have a serious immigration problem in this country. And that's not even touching the issue of the 10,000 Syrian refugees we just let in. Our borders are wide open to illegal immigration, because if they can get here and if they're not from Mexico, they can stay. When you allow mass numbers of people into this country who did not come here legally and have no reason or plan to adopt U.S. culture, then mark my words, this country will begin looking more like the ones they're all trying to get away from, and we will all have to deal with that issue. Legal immigration is a way for safe, law-abiding people to come into this country and become a member of our culture. Illegal immigration just transfers cultural problems to another place. And for those bleeding hearts out there who think it'll make for a wonderful blending of cultures, you're welcome to head on over to the crime-ridden, gang-infested city of San Salvador and see how well that culture works out for you. And that's your reality check, America. Stay sane out there. If you like this video, check out more on our YouTube page or at mrctv.org. Make sure you like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.